Hi and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host Matthew. On this channel we take a look at darts, darts related materials and other items that your subscribers ask us to review. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe right now, ring the bell down below and you'll know whenever I post a new video and go ahead and drop us a comment of something you'd like us to review. And today we're looking at a genre of crime film or fiction characterized by cynicism, fatalism and moral ambiguity. And that does talk a lot about the gentleman whose name is on these barrels with these are the Noir Barrels by Unicorn Darts, and we are taking a look at the James Wade version today. So stick around, let's dive into this box, let's do it now. So today we are taking a look at the Noir Barrel by Unicorn Darts, and this is the James Wade version. Now I actually looked the word up, Noir, just to make sure that I understood it correctly, but it does stand for, or its meaning per Webster Dictionary is, a genre of crime film or fiction characterized by cynicism, fatalism, and moral ambiguity. Interesting name for a barrel, but it kind of matches the first darts player that we're gonna look at in this lineup. We are gonna look at all of them that they make, but we're gonna start off with James Wade. So this is the box that you get. So we've got this little cardboard piece, but you get this really cool looking velvety, shiny box. This is cool. I'm just gonna say it, it's pretty cool. Let's go and open this up. It's got a little magnet piece there, and you just open this thing up, and it's like, oh it's beautiful. Let me take this off here so we can see these barrels. But take a look at this. That's awesome. We got a little picture of James over here, picture of the dart here, a little bit of information, and then just these really incredibly cool looking barrels. Pretty cool. So you get some additional flights and some additional barrels. You get some metals and some other polys that come along with this set. And then this little metal piece down here, just if you were curious about it, it's actually a point holder metal really nice piece of, I'm gonna say it's tungsten, and it's for you to put your darts. This is a really, really cool setup here. When I think of James Wade and I think of the machine, I have a tendency to think of like a mechanic. And if you know what a mechanic is, it's a reference to a hitman. So I think of like James Wade as the machine of darts or the mechanic of darts. He's kind of like the hitman of darts. And I think it kind of plays that way. But let's get a close up look at this barrel and the box stuff here. And then we'll take him over to the board. We'll give him a throw, which I have to be honest, I almost don't want to throw I just kind of want to keep them. I got the whole set, so I kind of want to just keep them without throwing them, but what good is a dart if it never touches a board? Let's do the close-up look now, and then we'll take them to the board. Here's a quick look at what actually comes in the box again. So we've got three sets of extra Noir flights there. You can see those. And then we have these two sets of shafts. This is a pretty intense looking barrel here. I like this. It's black, this white. It's very mysterious in its own sense. But here right at this front ring or right where the point comes in, which is pretty flat right here, I could see how that could catch on a flight or cause you to miss on a segment. But it's got James Weed's signature on here. It's got the unicorn logo right there. This has got some really good weight. It does feel like it's more front weighted. This big ring just feels really heavy in my hands. This is a 24 gram that we're looking at. But look at these nice rings. Just really, they've got a lot of grip to them. Wow. It's very traditional in the ring sense, but it's actually really cool looking. I just like the elements of this. And we've got these rings right here. Back. I mean, this is just rings. It's just a set of rings, set of rings, set of rings. It's not like there's a specific push point. It's all just very simple pencilish style with just rings all the way up. And then we've got these smaller rings are not as depth. They don't have as much depth in them. And we've got a unicorn shaft and then this pretty cool flight. I like this, kind of interesting with Noir written on it. So again, really nice looking barrel. Nothing super special about it as far as design element goes other. I mean, it's got some nice grip and it's got a really cool coloration in it. All right, well, let's take it over the board. We'll give it a throw and then a final wrap up. So let's go ahead and throw them real quick. I'll give you a quick wrap up, but I gotta tell you, I like this. I just think it's very elegant. And I don't normally quote price points because depending on where you buy them, you know, the price point's different. I will say that everywhere I look for these, it's reasonable for what you're getting, the price point. You know, it's 
It's somewhere around that little over $100 US everywhere I kind of looked on. Reasonable for a set of darts like this and for the class that Unicorn put into it. But let's go and throw them. Now I did change out their flight and shaft. Now to talk about that real quick, just to let you know, it is a standard flight that comes with it. Of course, there's the other options of flights, which are standards, just different looks. And this is an intermediate shaft. Those are too big a flight and too long a shaft for me. As average as I am, that would make me look even worse. So let's go ahead and throw them. But as we are in the new or era here, I think we're gonna change over to black and white here. Ah, cool, huh? All right, let's throw them in black and white. Feel good. I'm gonna set this crooked part because I put my finger right in here. You guys can see that? That's an interesting feel. Let's give one more throw. So there's a quick look at the Noir barrel. This again is the James Wade Noir barrel by Unicorn Darts. It's a pretty interesting barrel. This fat ring right here seems to have a lot of weight in it. I just feel like it's front weighted. It's very flat. I still like this barrel. I like the pencil shape. That's just a shape that I typically like. It's just straight across. It's grippy. I'm gonna say this is closer to a three, even though it looks like it's probably not that grippy because it's just straight rings. It's pretty grippy. I was quite surprised. I like it. I like the idea behind this black and the silver, but wow, that is seriously front weighted. That's crazy. I think this is definitely is a front weighted barrel. I like them. They're definitely fun. This is a collection piece for me. I'm actually a big James Wade fan. I always have him as my underdog that's going to come through. He doesn't have the highest average overall compared to others, but when he's on, he's good. I really like him. I like his attitude. He's very machine-esque. Very much there's a gentleman side to him, but he will snap and bite at the same time. And I kind of like that, his personality. I like this barrel. Maybe the 20 gram. I'm not huge on the front weightedness. Very honest with it. It's not a barrel that grabs my attention because it just feels super weighty in that front ring, but I like the shape of it and I like the concept, the whole noir, this, this mysterious piece to it. But outside of that, this is a show piece for me. If you like this kind of thing, it's not a bad barrel and being that it's 90% tungsten, price point really isn't bad for a playable barrel. For me, it's show piece and for me, that's kind of just the collection type piece, but I like it. I think it's fun. There you go. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know how to do it. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.